usually uh, at the end of the season, I do get choked up on stage. My heart might be a little black, you know, it might be kind of a dark heart, but it feels sometimes, believe it or not. And every year at the end of the season, I sort of get choked up. The weird thing is, is tonight was such um, a whirlwind of activity and Elvira was there. I didn't really have time to get sad. Normally at the last minute mass, I thank everyone. We don't have time for that. We gotta get this movie on screen. But I did want to bring up Martini, my, uh, my flawed and tragic sidekick who has been here every step of the way this summer. Martini, would you please come down here? I'm so glad that in the spirit of tradition, you decided to wear a wig that you've been wearing for 10 years. It looks pretty good still. Thank you, and it's my evening moo moo. <laughs> it is an evening moo moo. She dressed up, you guys. Look at that. Thank you, Martini. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Martini. God, we love you. All right. Now, we are going to start Dead Alive, which I declare is the goriest movie ever made. I love it. This movie is inspiring. It, it's everything that Midnight Mass is all about. Have a great time. This has been an amazing 10th season. I love you all. Thank you, San Francisco! Come on, Is there any other kind of movie worth seeing besides a cult movie? No. So when programming the Midnight Mass show for Elvira, it's like you can show any movie that fits into sort of a horror genre because she's the queen of all horror. And I thought, you know, I just think Elvira is super fun, she's over the top, and why not get a movie that kind of emulates those things? And Peter Jackson's Dead Alive to me is one of the most over the top, insane, hilarious movies ever made. The fact that Peter Jackson has kind of grown into becoming one of the most important, you know, box office successes in Hollywood history with Lord of the Rings and the remake of King Kong is brilliant. And it gives, you know, trashy exploitation, you know, filmmakers like me great hope. So Peter Jackson should give all you cult film fans out there a lot of hope because, you know, seek out his early movies and, you know, look at the guy who's doing King Kong, look at his roots. They're steeped in trash, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic garbage. <laughs>